and much of the convenient technology we use today, something of which our parents and teachers never fail to remind us. I could list off more statistics about our class's academic accomplishments and averages, but I'll leave that for Dr. Tafoya. Instead, I wanted to mention some current events that were happening when our seniors were born, both lighthearted and substantial, in order to realize how far we have come as a society. For example, some pop culture around the time most of our seniors were born. The TV show Friends had just premiered. Microsoft had released its much-anticipated Windows 95 software. The first flip phone was created and considered a luxury, as most cell phones were a foot long. CD players in one's car were considered novel, and gas averaged about $1.18 per gallon. Some of the top box office premieres at the time were Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, Forrest Gump, Independence Day, The Lion King, and Toy Story. And lastly, some of the top Billboard music hits included Gangsta Paradise, oh, I Believe I Can Fly, The Macarena, and Whoop, There It Is. <laughs> now, it's easy to remember the past as a glossy, hazy fog of fond memories and forgotten, simpler times. But we cannot downplay the times of sorrow that we've experienced as well. At the time most of our seniors were born, few individuals outside of their respective towns had ever heard of Columbine, Sandy Hook, or Virginia Tech. If you asked someone in New Orleans how Katrina had affected their lives, they wouldn't know what you were talking about. And 9-11 was no more than a number. We've experienced leaps and bounds through our lifetimes, not to mention great hardships and tragedies. We've seen countless acts of kindness and cruelty, and as we start to find our place in the world, we've just begun to realize the kind of impact we can truly have. Of course, none of that would have been possible without our teachers, our mentors, some of the most influential people in our lives. Personally, I know that without them, I'd be more of a nervous wreck than I already am. We couldn't ask for a better team of leaders. They're the people who taught us, made us laugh, and gave us a good kick in the butt when we needed it, and we did need it at some point. I don't think we will ever find teachers more dedicated and driven to helping their students succeed. I look in front of me today, and I see my classmates, from people that I've known since I was six, to people that I've probably never had a conversation with, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because even though we may not talk to one another, we've still been through more than we can believe together. We've won so much. Homecoming, competitions, equal rights, and apparently a heck of a lot of scholarships. But we've also lost together. Games, much of us financial stability, and most heartbreaking of all, some of our closest friends and teachers. We've lived and changed here together. Of course, we'll all continue to change as we go our separate ways, some of us more than others. But one thing is certain, our time together will never be forgotten. I could stand up here and give more cliches about opportunities and how we should remember where we've come from. But I'd like to close with a few lines from a traveling song sung by four hobbits that were also on the greatest journey of their lives. Home is behind, the world's ahead, and there are many paths to tread. Through shadows, to the edge of night, until the stars are all alight. Then when the world's behind, we'll find home ahead and we'll wander back to home and to bed. Thank you so much, No Blue Street.